Techphones Neil here, back with another hot take review, and in this case, it's going to be my initial thoughts for Stranger Things Season 4. So, with this season, it is one of the better sequel seasons. Um, it makes 2 and 3 seem okay by comparison. I didn't really have any issue with the second and third seasons, but Season 4 actually feels like a good sequel to the first season, especially considering that Oh, where we leave off at the end of the first season. Um, the second and third season now kind of feel like stepping stone seasons to what we see in this fourth season. Um, so I'm kind of wondering what they're going to pull out in the last two seasons. I want to say it's probably all going to relate to Natalie and the rest of dealing with the revelation that um, the ward in um, Eleven's dad's laboratory is actually one, the source of all of their powers. So I actually like that revelation and that he is um, Vecna. So all in all, I don't really have much to say at the moment. I thought it was a good season. I enjoyed it. The longer episodes felt kind of strange, especially since um, I want to say prior seasons were only at about an hour each. So it feels like they're kind of pulling uh, Game of Thrones, but slightly better in that they're filling in a lot more information a lot more back and forth now that the parents know what the kids are up to they're trying to protect them even though the kids have seen a lot worse than what the parents know is going on so overall definitely a good season in my opinion so far but i'm reserving judgment only as far as what we're gonna see in the final i think there's supposed to be two more episodes if um memory serves um, but don't quote me on that. I just know there's there's more episodes coming in July. So as far as an incomplete season goes, so far it is pretty good. I enjoy what's going on. Um, the only thing I really have to say is that I kind of am not liking um, shows that are doing this whole thing with the mid-season finale. Either release episodes week to week and do a complete season or um release the entire season for binging so i'm not quite sure why in this case netflix didn't release the final two episodes but i kind of would have preferred they release it all at the same time um i figure there's probably something like um streaming um or not streaming but recording issues as far as um getting being able to finish the final production on the episodes but to me, it just feels like releasing an incomplete season is weird. Mid-season finales kind of draws that line to have a season or release episodes that are ready and then finish the rest of the season later. But then it's trying to drum up support for um, a show that is or a season that's still incomplete. So it's kind of going along the lines of Breaking Bad um, as far as that mid-season finale goes. So granted, I'm going to watch it no matter what, but... I would have preferred an entire season because now it's kind of drumming up support. And let's say in the case that is bad, then it's negating the effort that they put into that first half of the season. So that's neither here nor there. Like I said, Stranger Things season four is actually really good. Um, I am half tempted at some point in the future to go back and just watch seasons one and four. It's not going to um, account for some of the new characters we saw and that were introduced, I think, primarily in season two. But like I said, season and two and three become stepping stone um, seasons in the show. But it also kind of mimics what you get in a game where you're leveling up to, or you're trying to beat various levels in a um, video game where the first level is kind of introducing you to the level. You have a mini boss fight. You think you've won and then you're st you start introducing either new characters or new mini bosses you get up to the second in command like we see in season four. So if there is a Stranger Things season five, we're going to deal with the final boss and figure out what's going on. Although right now I figure that one is um, the main boss and Vecna is the um, his like leading general sub boss kind of thing, kind of like a Shao Kahn and Shang Sun team up. Um, but we'll see exactly um, how they finish out the second or the rest of the season. And if the second to last episode is Vecna and the final episode is one or vice versa, then um, that'll help fill in the rest of that picture and where they could go potentially with a season five. So that's all there is for this particular um, review, a hot take, initial thoughts. Like I said, it, basically I enjoyed the season. It went by really smoothly. 
the last couple of episodes were probably the longer of the bunch, so it's a little bit harder to get through that final episode number seven. But overall, very well done. Now that the team um, is back together, except for Eleven, I think we're in for a good final two episodes or so for season four. So that's all there is for that. So um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel on Twitch, definitely do that. I would appreciate that. Or a subscription on YouTube. Um, website for the podcast is headphonesneal.reviews and the Twitter profile is at PatelN01 for all of my updates. So thanks for tuning into this review and until next time.